Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this index feed. So to start, let's draw, start a new path file and click on sketch. So on the front plane, let's draw a box. So select the center rectangle, draw something like that. And the distance, the eye dimension is going to be 1.56. And the length at the bottom is going to be 3.25. So we have 1.56, 3.25. We have a fully defined sketch. Come to feature, extrude by the mid plane. And the distance is going to be 2.5. And click OK. So we are going to start with this box and start cutting everything out. The next thing we can cut out is this space at the bottom. So I'll click on this space, sketch, number two, and I'm just going to move it over here. So let's draw two corner rectangle. So two corner rectangle. And the next corner rectangle will be from this point out. And the distance for the first one is 1.25, 1.25. Then the distance for the next one is from this line to this line is 0.75. So let's use the upper limit, which is 0.75. And we also know that the height is 0.19. So this line. Point one nine. Select this point, holding down the control key, select this point and add the horizontal relation to fully define everything. Once we have see that everything is fully defined, come to feature, extrude cut, up to next, and click OK. So we have the first part. The next part we can do now is cut out this feature. And a good way to look at it is just follow this bottom shape and just draw everything on this space. So we'll click on this space, sketch, and come normal two. So we have a shape that goes something like this from this edge, goes here, comes this way. So we have something like that. So, what we have to do now is add our dimension from here to this line. It is going to be 0.25. So that is this dimension. Then we have an angle from this edge to this line, which is 40. And we also have a dimension here for this line, which is 1.25. I have a fully defined sketch, feature, extrude cut, we're going to extrude cut it down point. Um, so we are extrude cutting it down. It is going to be 1.56, 1.56 minus, we'll just add this two together. So 1.56 minus 0 0.62 plus 0.19. And close the parentheses. So I'm just doing the order of operation in here and click OK, enter. So the distance, it should be, should be 0.75. So if you don't want to do the calculation, it's 0.75. Type in 0.75 and click OK. So we have something like that. And the next thing we need to do is cut out this 30. So let's click this back face, sketch, number two and draw a triangle. So we'll draw a triangle back here. And the distance for the top part of it is 0.94 and the angle is 30. So when I move it this way, it should look something like this. We have 0.94 and 30. And we can feature, extrude cut, up to next, click OK. 
So that is how you pretty much cut those features out. And the next part, we, the last part we need to do is this face, sketch, normal two. And we would draw a, we would draw a, a triangle on this edge. And add your dimension from this line to that line is 50. And the distance from this edge to that line is one. So it looks something like this. Come to feature, extrude cut. The distance is going to be 1.19. 1 .19, click OK. And the last part we need to do is just click on this face. Um, not Don't click on that face so we can select our whole wizard and select the first option, which is your counter ball. Then come to position tab, select this face and click one more time to add that point. And I'm just going to go normal two. So press escape to escape. So you only need one point. The first dimension is um, 0.75. So we have 0.75 from that edge to that center. That point is 0.75. The next dimension is 0.38, which is this bottom edge. So what you have to do is select this bottom edge and click convert entity just to convert that line on the top and select that line, make it a construction line. Then we can add our dimension, which is from this point to that line is 0.38. So now come back, click OK and come back to your type tab. And in this boxes, make sure you have this, select that NC inch zero. And in this boxes, you want to type this value. So the, the smallest hole is going to be 0.5. The biggest hole is going to be 0.75. And the distance for that big hole that is drilled down is 0.35. So just type this value in and up right here. You can just put through all. So that hole is cutting through or and click OK. And that is how you make this part. Uh, it is very easy to follow. Just again, look at it from the standpoint of starting with a box and cutting everything out. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a question or your comment. And I will see you in the next tutorial.